Hey everyone, I'm Senescence, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, I started playing Ragnarok online again in 2024 while streaming on Twitch. I'll be sharing a weekly summary of my progress right here on my YouTube channel. I also want to extend a huge thank you to everyone who watched my introduction video. It's amazing to see so many people still enjoying Ragnarok Online in 2024, even after two decades. What do you love most about this game? And why do you keep playing it even with so many new releases? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'm currently playing on Ragnarok Penis, a pre-renewal server with the following rates. 3x EXP, 3x job EXP, 1x drop rate, 1x MVP drop rate, and a 0.01% card drop rate. For more information, check out ragnarokpenis.com or join the Discord server at discord.gg slash ragnarokpenis. As you can see, my levels jumped from base level 42 in job level 31 to base level 63 in job level 48. I forgot to record episode 2 of my stream, but essentially, I moved from hold maps to Ludi and grinded there for about 2 hours to achieve these new levels. For new players like me, grinding in Ludi with a duo acolyte is a great way to earn zeni for basic equipment. The loot from missed cases sells for a high price, and it also provides a decent amount of experience. After an hour of grinding missed cases, I reached base level 66 and job level 50. Now, let's move on to the job change quest to become a rogue and a priest. This isn't a detailed guide for changing jobs from thief to rogue or acolyte to priest. For a comprehensive walkthrough, you can check out Rate My Server or 99 Pouring for all the information you need. I need to distribute all my skill points first before I can change my job to rogue. Let's head to Komodo, then make our way to Beacon Feras to locate the Rogue Guild. Step into the portal to enter the Rogue Guild. Head down to the lowest floor and talk to Marky to register for the job change quest. She'll quiz you with 10 questions, and you need to get at least 9 correct to pass. To ensure you answer correctly, you can check 99 pourings or raid my server for the answers.
Move one portal up and you'll see Mr. Smith. Pay a fee of 10,000 zenny and he'll ask you to collect a set of items. Return to him after collecting the items he asked for and he'll assign you to find an NPC. I purchased the necessary items from a street vendor in Prantara and went back to Mr. Smith. He asked me to find Aragam Jr. You need to enter the correct phrases to gain access to the house. Talk to Aragam Jr. to enter the rogue dungeon. In this test, all you have to do is walk through an underground passage to the rogue guild. The passage is filled with monsters, you are not required to kill any of them. Just run as fast as you can to get to the exit. Voila! I've officially become a rogue. If you've made it to the end of my video, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitch if you'd like to interact with me while I'm playing. If you have some extra time, you can also follow my Facebook page. All my social links are in the description below. In the next episode, We'll be changing my acolyte's job to priest and starting our journey to farm Zenny. See you on the next episode. Bye.